off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, which is to say all praises to Yahweh, true in the name of the Father, all right, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, which is Rakakodash. Um, double honors to the apostles and the elders of James, right, the elders who rule well, who lead us in this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, who continually push us. Right. Salutations also and much love to the elect brethren, right, men who are honestly pushing this word in sincerity, in our faith, in hope of the promise that is made unto our forefathers, you know, doing this doing this labor, right, sincerely doing this labor. This lesson is gonna be on the um, the definition, you know, of this word sentinel. Right? We as men of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, as prophets of the Heavenly Father, going out into the highways and the byways doing these videos. We're all, we're all sentinels, right? And um, through the scriptures, we're going to bring out, you know, just a few scriptures to um, to exemplify this point, you know. So hopefully through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Kodash, this lesson is edifying to the elect, you know, of the nation of Israel, right? So we're going to start with the, um, the definition of the word sentinel. So it says, a soldier, our guard, whose job is to stand and keep watch, right? So that's exactly what we are, yo. right? So it says, a station a guard or a soldier or a guard by a place to keep watch, right? So we are soldiers or guard whose job is to stand and keep watch over the nation of Israel. Why? We're, we're watching for all the prophecies that are prophesied in the scriptures, all the prophecies that are written in the Holy Scriptures that are about to come to pass. We're watching for them in the daily news, the different things that are coming out in the international news and the local news, right? And the things that are matching up to prophecy, we bring out, right? We bring out the warnings, such as one of the, two of the major prophecies that we're waiting to be um, fulfilled is the Mark and Beagle, which is the RFID microchip, which is, uh, which exists, which is here, you know, and it's been here for years, but it has not been forcibly implemented yet, right? We um, we also awaiting the third war written off in Revelation, which is World War Three. Right and the destruction of America, right. So these things are, are are the major things that we are we are keeping watch for that we are standing and keeping watch for. You know, brothers, cover the deal, the, the news on a day to day basis. You know, um, I myself and several other brothers, um, from here in Jamaica and and in the states and and some brothers in in in, um, in England are part of a WhatsApp group. As uh, as we know, other brothers are part of WhatsApp groups and, and you know, but in this one specifically, you know, we we send. You know news articles back and forth you know um we send uh, different videos you know about brothers bringing out you know different education and and, and different prophecies that are, that are about to happen right so our job right is to watch the news yo right the financial news the economic news the um the, the, the um geopolitical news all these things we watch to see the prophecies that are about to happen so that what so that we can bring it out to you people because that that's our purpose yo before our job before, before our kids, before our wives, everything. That's our job, to watch and to give warning, right? So we're gonna get those um, those precepts to exemplify that. This is Habakkuk, chapter two, verse one. It says, I will stand upon my watch, right? And set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am approved, right? So let's look up that word watch, and see what it means. So the word here is, uh, let me get it here. Masha, Masha Mara, Masha Mara, and it means to guard, to, to charge, to function, obligation, service, watch, guard, watch, house of detention or confinement, keeping, preserving, right? And then if you go down here to the Strong's definition, it says the act, the, i.e., it says watch, i.e., the act, or concretely the sentry, right? And if you look up that word sentry, it says a soldier stationed. To keep guard or to control access to a place. And the synonyms here are guard, sentinel, lookout, watch, watchman, patrol, picket. So that's what we are, yo. Right? We're watchmen, we're patrols, yo. Right? Of this truth. Right? So let's get back to the precept. It says, I will stand upon my watch. Right? So so all, us standing up on our watch is watching the daily news, yo. Watching the things that are unfolding in our everyday life and watching how, how they match up to prophecy and bringing them out. Right, it says, and set me upon the tower. Right, and a tower is um is a high place, a place where you can have um as much vantage um point uh, as best a vantage point as possible, where you can see 
um, we can have a good field of vision of the things that are that, that, that are coming. So a watchman for a city would, would stand up on a tower, right, and would look out in every direction around the city to see if there are any armies approaching the city, and then he would sound an alarm, right, to say that the city is is um is going to be under attack, or there are men, or there is an um there there is a there's an, an an infantry, right, approaching the um the city. So we stand up on the tower. Right and 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 this, the tower today is the internet, yo. Right, we stand up on the tower of the internet, right, and we look, we look globally, yo. Through the internet, we're we're able to see globally. We're able to see all the things that are happening globally, right. And we we, we watch to see the things them that that are um, that that are matching to prophecy. That's what it says. We watch to see what he will say unto me. So we watch to see when the spirit will say, "This is prophecy," right. So if we see something, uh, um. Referring to a cashless society, right? The spirit, in, the spirit immediately says, "Mark of the beast." If we see stuff talking about um, RFID microchip implants, mark of the beast. If we, if we see stuff talking about geopolitical conflicts between nations, especially between America and the other nations, World War Three. So the spirit um, speaks unto us, yo, right? Verse 2, it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write a vision, make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. And the vision are these prophecies, yo. Right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So these, these visions are what we're looking out for, yo. When we stand upon our watch, we're, we're looking out for these visions, right? And we know that they will come. They will not tarry. Right? Why? Because the, the word of the Most High has spoken them. And what the mo word of the Most High has spoken will come to pass you know let's um let's, let's just get that as a side note you know it wasn't a part of the um the original scriptures that i brought out but um here we go isaiah 55 and 11 it says so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it so one of the one of the prophecies that has gone out out of the most high's mouth is that america will be destroyed mr babylon the great the daughter of babylon Right? One of the prophecies also is that the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, is going to be forcibly implemented. So, so, so that's, that's the words that have gone out of the Mosai's mouth. That's Yahweh Shai speaking. Right? And it says, He will not return unto him void, but he will accomplish the things that I please. So we, we know that these prophecies, though they may tarry, though they may seem to tarry, they are set for an appointed time. And at that appointed time, they will speak. The Mosai has set everything in appointed times, yo. Right? This is Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth, at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we'll go out there in the highways and the byways. Our, our, our principal aim is to give the children of Israel warning from Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Right? Which we know the elect will hear and the two-third will not hear. Right? So we already know that the majority will not hear. But our job is still to go out there as watchmen. Right? See the things that are happening. Link them to prophecy. Bring them out. Right? Isaiah 62 verse 6, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, right? Which shall need, never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that made mention of the Lord, keep not silent. So the fact that we, we, we see these things, the fact that we have, we have received this knowledge, right? We can't, we can't keep silence, right? So brothers, brothers should be focusing and, and pushing this truth as much as possible, yo. Because the precept said, that um, the, the, the watchmen, which are upon the walls of Jerusalem, right, shall never hold their peace day nor night, right? Around the clock, but brothers in GMS are, are uploading videos, yo, right? You have some brothers who are, and, and some elders and apostles who upload multiple videos a day, right? And throughout the night as well, yo, right? So it says, we shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. There's um, another precept that just came to mind. Um, I believe, therefore, I did speak. I believe that's, um, that's, that's how it is. Uh, right. It says, um, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 13 says, We have the same spirit of faith, right? Faith in what? Faith in these prophecies. Faith in the promises that was made to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which we are waiting for right now, yo. According as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. 
we also believe and therefore speak. So we believe in these prophecies. We believe in these visions. So therefore, we don't, we don't keep silent. So it says, ye that make mention of the Lord, ye that believe in the, and have the faith of Abraham and of our forefathers, speak. Right? So it says, we also believe and therefore speak. We believe in these prophecies, so we bring them out. Right? Back to Isaiah chapter 62, verse 7. And give him no rest. Right? Give who no rest? Yahweh. Right? Why? Because he, he, he made a promise to us, yo. So constantly remind him of that promise. Give him no rest till he establish, till he made Jerusalem a praise in all the earth, till he fulfills the promise that was made unto Isaac and to Abraham and to Jacob, that we will be gods upon this earth and that we will inherit the land of Canaan and the whole earth and that we will inherit immortal life. Right? This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 42. It says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Right? But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would not have watched, he would have watched and would have suffered his house to be break, broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as, as he think not the Son of Man cometh. Who is that wise and faithful servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give him meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom the Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him a ruler over all his goods right so we have to be we have to endeavor and strive to be that servant that is watching when his master comes here right and he gives he, he gives an example if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come he would have watched right so so we know know this we know the season when the thief is coming we know the season when when these prophecies are about to be fulfilled and we're in that season now therefore we can't sleep right and when it means sleep it don't mean literally sleep for all you simple niggas out there it, it, it means sleep spiritually yo you can't get get seduced into the cares of this life be, being concerned too much about the, the, um, the, the things that are happening in your day-to-day -day life yo right you go through as a pilgrim you go through unattached right Let's move over to the next precept. All right, this is um, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse, I'm sorry, verse 1. Therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and the things which thou art heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So we putting out these videos, the apostles, the elders, other brothers putting out these videos, the point of putting out these videos and teaching other men is so that these men who learn from us Right? And we who learn from the apostles would teach others also. Right? So so it's, 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 it's us continually inducting more watchmen. Right? And those watchmen are to come and do the work. Right? Because there, there is so much work to be done, yo. Right? There's always much work to be done. Um, let's bring out that precept. Harvest truly. It's plenteous. Let's bring it out. This is Matthew 9 and verse 37 says, Then said he unto, this, unto his disciples, The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Right? From um, Luke 10 verse 2, Then said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore to the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Right? So that's what, that's what we're doing when we teach other men. Right? We, um, we, we sow that word with faith, and if you're of the elect, if you're called, Right? Then you receive that good seed and you go and you teach others also. You, you take that talent and you, you, you trade it and create other talents, which are other fruit. Right? It says, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. No man that wireth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Right? So it goes back to the definition of the word sentinel, a soldier. Right? Or guard whose job is to stand and keep watch. So we are soldiers for Yahweh Shai, soldiers who are who are keeping watch for the things that are about to come to pass. And as a soldier, as a soldier, Selakia, you have to be you have to be sober, you have to be vigilant, right? You can't be a watchman. You know, for example, um, a, a, a business I hires you as a security guard, an overnight security guard, a watchman, pretty much. And then during your hours of watch, you're drunk or you're falling asleep. You're not alert. Right? You're a poor watchman. So that means that a thief can come up, a criminal, a robber can come up, a burglar, right? And um a, 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 and break into the business place and you're not you're not even aware. Right? 
So, so, so we who are watching the things that are about to come to pass, we are not to be drunken, right? We are to be vigilant. So let's bring this out from 1 Peter 5 verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeming, seeking whom he may devour. Right? And let's bring out that word um, sober. So the word sober, all right, let me play it so that this um, cracker can pronounce it. Strong's G, 3525. Nafo. Nafo. So nafo means to be sober, to be calm, collected in spirit, to be temperate, dispassionate, circumspect. Let's look up that word circumspect. All right. Yeah, I'm put on the door and disturb on this. So lucky I can. All right. All right, let's look up that word circumspect. So the word circumspect means weary, and, and unwilling to take risk, right? She would have bit, she would have to be very circumspect, right, in her dealings with Catherine, right? Cautious, weary, careful, cheery, guarded, on one's guard, right? On one's guard. That's what we're supposed to be. Or we're supposed to be on our guard. And if you look up the word, uh, if you look up the root of the word circumspect, right, it means it, me it means looking around. Circum meaning in a circle, all around. And spec means to see, so we, we're, we're looking around, right? Going back to the, the analogy of standing on the tower so that you can see all around, uh, have a 360 degree um, feel of view, right? So where, where, where we're on our tower, which is, which is the, um, this internet, we, we can be circumspect. We can see all the things that are happening, right? And tie all of them to prophecy and bring them out to the body, right? Moving on to, um, to the other definition, and this is the definition for... Um, the Greek word for, for vigilant. Strong's G, 1127. Gregareo. Gregareo. So it means to watch, to give strict attention to. Let's look up that word strict. Demanding that rules concerning behavior are obeyed and observed. Right? Exact, literal, close, faithful, true, accurate, unerring, scrupulous, careful, meticulous. Right, so we have to give strict attention, be cautious, be active. But us have to be active in this ministry, or make full proof of your ministry. Right, do your videos, read, study, pray, fast, go out in the highways and the byways, fellowship with the brotherhood, yo. Right, it says to take heed, leads to remission. And if you look up that word remission, it's pretty much inactivity, the cancellation of a debt charge or penalty, right, um, setting aside suspension revocation repeal rescinding right so you have to make sure that you you are um, you're, you're not remitting you you're not pulling back from this truth right and indolence right indolence pretty much means lazy avoidance of activity or exertion laziness right you have, you have, you have some some men unfortunately who are who are in gms who are lazy yo. they're lazy they're idle they're slothful they're sh shiftlessness inactive right so it says, um, take heed through remission and indolence. Take heed lest through remission and indolence some destructive calamity suddenly overtake thee. Right? The strong's definition to keep watch, i.e., to watch figuratively or, or, figuratively or li literally, to be vigilant. Right? Which means keeping careful watch for possible danger or difficulties. The burglars was spotted by vigilant neighbors. Right? Going back to um to March twenty four, yo. Right? So it says to be vigilant, to be awake, right? Not asleep, yo, which leads perfectly into the next precept. This is um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For you yourselves know that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when he shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon you, upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brothers are not in darkness. That the day should overtake you as a thief. You are the children of light. You are the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep. Let us be awake. Right? Let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Right? Let's see if I can bring out that word. Um, watch and be sober. Right? Alright, so the word watch, it says, alright, so it's the same one as vigilant. Alright, same word as vigilant. Let's watch and be sober at the same nephew, right, which we just brought out. 
right? Therefore, let us not sleep, right, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an ailment, the hope of salvation, right? So that, that's pretty much it. You know, I hope this lesson was edifying to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right, to the elect men out there. Right, um, let me just um, bring out the definition one more time for sentinel. Right, um, a soldier or a guard whose job is to stand and keep watch. Right, a sta station, a guard or, or a soldier by a place to keep watch. So brothers, keep watching, keep pushing. Shalom.